Hi everybody, welcome back to another CYT Crypto episode. My name is Stephen Aitchison and today I'm going to do something different. If you're invested in a crypto project, any type of project, whatever it is, gaming, kind of DeFi, any type of project at all, I think it's in our own best interest to start marketing for that project as well. So what a lot of people do is they'll invest in a project, they'll sit in their arse and expect the price to go up and up and up and then they can take money out and just walk away. That's not how this should be done. If you're investing in a project, then at least get involved in the community, at least join the Telegram group, go on Twitter, tweet everything out about them as well, share the kind of YouTube videos or get into Discord and start chatting to the team as well. I think what we need to do as investors, we need to become marketers for the projects we're invested in. So as I said, we shouldn't be sitting on our We can't just expect to just chuck in a couple of thousand dollars, expect it to go up, walk away with $100,000 and say thank you very much and that's it. We should do at least a bit of work. So what we're doing with our project, um, with our company, CYT Blockchain Ventures, um, myself and three other partners, what we're doing is we're bringing people who are invested in the private sales we get involved in and we can show them how to tweet. We can say, show them how to set up a Twitter account. Um, we tell them how to kind of get involved in the community, use hashtags and stuff like that. So I want to do a video as like an almost introduction for the CYT Blockchain Ventures community, but also for the wider community as well. And I think everybody should get involved in the marketing of the projects that they're investing in. So we're going to start with Twitter. Twitter is the obvious place. So there's different platforms um, for different kind of things in life. So I've got a Facebook page that's got about four and a half million followers, but Facebook does not lend itself well to crypto. For obvious reasons, people don't want to kind of get tracked um, using Facebook. I know you can do it privately in groups and stuff like that, but Facebook is just not the place for crypto, the cryptoverse I found uh, in any case. So I tried to transfer um, kind of a lot of people from my crypto and um, from my Facebook following over to crypto. It just doesn't work at all. It's just not a good thing. Um, to do. So I just left it and kept on doing my Facebook page with the four and a half million followers. On Twitter is going to be the big thing. So I've grown my following on Twitter to 15,000 or 15,500 followers just by doing what I'm going to show you today. And that's a, it's a, I, didn't, uh, I can't remember where it started when I first got involved in crypto, but just by doing a few wee things every single day, you're going to really grow your Twitter following. So when you invest in a project, you should at least have a Twitter account. And there's no point complaining saying, no, I don't want a Twitter account, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. If you're investing in a project, certainly if you come into CYT Blockchain Ventures and you're a private investor, you'll need to set up a Twitter account at the very least to get involved with this as well because everybody um, is expected to market the project that we're involved in. Uh, so we're, even, we're involved in a lot of projects just now. Um, like Meta Wars, we're heavily kind of promoting them kind of on Twitter as well because we're invested in them. It's a two-way street. They, we invest in them by giving them some money. It goes up, we take some money out, we take a stake back out and keep on uh, investing in them and we market them as well. So our money goes up, their money goes up, everybody's happy. So it should be a win-win-win. A win for you, a win for them and a win for all the shareholders as well. And not the shareholders but the project, the token holders of the project. So that's how we have to think about investing nowadays and I think it's in our best interest to do so. So what I'm going to show you today is how to set up a Twitter account. So just do the basics. We'll set it up. We'll get a header image. We'll get a graphic um, for you as well. We'll show you how to do that. And then we'll show you what to do from there after. So we'll just jump in just now. So what I'll do, I'm just going to sign up with Google. I'll get one set up. I've got two set up already. One for myself and one for CYT Blockchain Ventures. And I'll show you what to do from there. So you can see you get a verification code and we'll do it to my phone. So I've got a verification code on my phone. Confirm you want to sign in. So we'll do that. What's your date of birth? I'll give my date of birth. Click on next, your bio, crypto, crypto enthusiast. Next. Username, CYT Crypto, next, allow, um, skip for now, allow notifications. 
what do you want to see on Twitter? So Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, Ethereum, Ripple, investing. And you can just pick what you want there. So I'll just pick a couple just now. Don't miss out. Right, so it's recognizing I'm from Scotland and it's trying to give me these people to follow. So it's good to follow some people just now. So follow Nicholas Sturgeon, follow Kevin Bridges, uh, and we'll do a, a couple of others later on. I'm going to show you that later on. So we'll just go next. So that is us now set up an account. If we go to profile, so it's got my photo already there um, because it's linked to my Google account. So it's got my photo there already. But what you want to do from here is to edit your profile. So the header size that you want for Twitter is going to be 1500 by 500. Uh, and you can put any photo in and just crop it. So I'll just show you that just now. If we put any photo in just now, and I'll just type in crypto. I've got lots of different um, kind of accounts. So I'll just type in crypto, something related to crypto. And we'll see. what I've got under crypto. So I'll do that, I quite like that. And see, you can move that in here. I think that's quite a cool one. Let's do that. You can change that obviously as well, your photo. You don't need to have a photo of yourself. Just have a photo though. Um, I'll just do that one. So it's different. Apply that. So that's in there. Location. Basic information, you don't need to have anything in there. And um, we'll do website as youtube.com forward slash CYT crypto. And you can switch it to professional as well. You don't need to do that as for if you're going to advertise. So save that. So you can see that is now saved. Okay, so you've got the header, you've got your own photo in there. As I said, it doesn't have to be a photo of yourself if you don't want to do that. Um, and then we can start setting up everything else. So what I would do is I would edit your profile. Think about what you want to be known for in the crypto world. So you could put as your bio, crypto enthusiast, whatever website you want to put in. Your location, it doesn't have to be your location. You could put in the world or something, but put in something that shows you're kind of professional, at least professional. We don't want any Twitter accounts with no um, kind of profile images, with nothing there at all, or no header images, that's not professional. It doesn't look good. So you better put in something um, here. So for the bio, again, it's up to yourself. Um, crypto enthusiast, co-founder of CYT Blockchain Ventures. So put author as well. YouTuber, and something like that, save. And you'll see that goes to the bio at the top as well. So you'll see CYT Crypto. You've got twitter.com forward slash CYT Crypto. That's going to be a handle. That's the one you're going to share as well. So we've got all that. Make sure you fill in this correctly as well. Now what you want to do, now what you want to do is follow people. And the best way to do that, so if you're involved in the crypto community, the best way to find out people who to follow you, because you might say, well, who, who do you follow? Then we're going to go to home and we're going to type in. So say, for example, you really like um, Baker, Alex Baker. And I really like Alex Baker, actually. A lot of people don't like him. They think his um, kind of persona, the persona that he kind of shows on camera is not the person who he is. But a lot of people think that is the person who he is, and he's not really. So you could go to who he who he is following. So I like Johnny Crypto. We'll follow them. I like Elio Trades, Dog Pound, Sheldon Evans. I like as well. And he's following a bunch of kind of people. And this is a good way to find out if they're going to be involved with other people as well, because all these people that he's involved in, all the the companies and the projects. Alex Becker has kind of pushed in the past on YouTube as well. So we'll see if there's anybody else here that we kind of know. And I don't really. So again, what we do here is we go to who we're following. We'll go to Elio Trades and we'll see who he is following. 
Alex Becker obviously. Ranier, Sheldon the Sniper, Crypto Banter, Sheldon Evans will follow, we'll follow Super Farm, like Super Farm. Coach K, like as well. So again, we'll go to Coach K, see who he is following. Poker, we like um, Poker Dot Brown, Elon Trades, Tim Moonwalker. And now you can see you're starting to build up your following. But only follow people that you're going to you're going to enjoy kind of tweeting about. And then what happens once you follow these people, once in your notifications, um, once that gets um, kind of set up in the notifications, you get notifications from people that you're following. So if they tweeted a new tweet or they've shared something, um, then you'll get uh, notifications here. And then once you've got that done, you can see this is taking very, very quick. You can do this very, very quickly. Once you've got that done, start to look at the people you're following. So profile. I'll see if there's any notifications on. There's not yet. Following. And we'll go to Elio Trades. And we'll see what he is doing. So last cycle, ETH made huge gains against BTC mid-cycle. First he repeats this could well stay bullish until late 2022. Take your top calls and multiply them. So I'm going to like that. And I'm going to share it on... Now what you can do, you can do you can do a retweet, straightforward retweet, and that'll just retweet what Elo Trades has just said there. But you can do a quote tweet as well. So you can add your own comment, and that's always good to do that because it shows you're involved more with the community. Um so I just put totally agree with this psycho analysis for ETH. Um, we're going to talk about tags and cash tags in a second. Totally agree with the cycle analysis for ETH. You'll tweet that out. And then when you go to profile, you'll see that it's been tweeted out here. So that's the first thing in my profile on this brand new profile. Okay, so you're going to spend 10, 15 minutes per day max just going through everybody that you like, going through your notifications and just sharing um, things as well. And then once you get more into it, you can start sharing things from... Um, your own perspective, you can start making up tweets yourself. Um, if you're into kind of trading or whatever, you could do technical analysis tweets. There's loads of things you can do. You can do image tweets um, as well. Images and videos are going to be shared more than anything else on Twitter rather than just doing a straight text tweet. Um, so if you've got an image in there, if you've got a video in there, start sharing things for your community. Just make yourself useful in the crypto community as well. And obviously, in CYT Blockchain Ventures, if you're in the group, start sharing um, in there as well, or what's been put in there as well, because you're going to be expected to share every single day with all the projects that we're involved in. And you know we're involved in about six different projects just now. And we're going to make that more formal in CYT Blockchain Ventures as well, whereby we'll just have a sheet out every day and just saying, okay, this is your tasks for today. Just share this, but get involved in it and just do the quote tweets as well. Don't just retweet. Um, so that's kind of the basics of what you're doing there. Now, what I'm going to do, if you've got a Twitter account already, you can actually merge different Twitter accounts. So I'm going to jump over. So I'm going to jump over here and say, okay, I want to add another Twitter account. So this is my main account. Just now, if we go to profile, this is my main account, 15,500 followers. So what you want to do, add an existing account. You can see I've got CYT Blockchain Ventures and I've got Stephen Aitchison. Add an existing account. So it's got to sign in with Google. So it's got an option there. So you can now see there's just added it. So you can have up to five accounts on Twitter. So I've got Stephen Aitchison, the one I've just created. Stephen Aitchison, the main one, CYT Blockchain Ventures as well. And you can see with CYT Blockchain Ventures, if we go to the profile, We've already got 259 followers and I'm following 116 people. And we'll go to Stephen H. And that's the one I use most is the Stephen H. one. And if you go to my profile here, you'll see 45 minutes ago, I just shared about Dragon Evolution um, there as well. I've spoken about ETH um, before. So I'm on Twitter every single day usually and kind of tweeting out stuff usually from my main profile, but I'll also do it from the CYT Blockchain Ventures profile. So... You've now got three accounts. Well, I've now got three accounts there. And you can do it exactly the same, just doing exactly what I showed you here. Okay, so what is best? Um, some good practices for Twitter. So some of the good practices are what to tweet. If you're going to tweet anything out on your own, if you're going to create your own content, um, 
Say, for example, VRA is really going to kick off soon. And if you just posted that out in and of itself, I'm going to get a lot of kind of feedback from that because I've got the cash tag. So there's a cash tag and there's a hashtag. So cash tag is a dollar sign and a VRA, that's the symbol. And that's going to be used for veracity, for example. That's the ticker symbol for veracity. So cash tag, use them all the time as much as possible in everything that you're doing. So if you're going to be talking about Ethereum, do cash tag Ethereum. If you're going to be talking about XRP, cash tag XRP. Get that in your head all the time. Every project you talk about, cash tag, cash tag, cash tag. And also hashtags. Hashtag Metaverse. And you'll, it'll come up and tell you um, that the, cash, the hashtag Metaverse, there's been 7,660 tweets in the last hour. So you want to use them. Hashtag GameFi. 3,710 tweets. So you're kind of kicking all the, or ticking all the boxes here. NFT, NFT collection, NFT artist. So the NFT collection. So use cash tags and hashtags as much as possible in every single tweet that you do. Even if you're retweeting or quote tweeting another from somebody else. So you want to do that. Also, um, you, there's three different types of posts. You can do a, a normal text-based post, you can do a video post, and you can do a, an image post um, there as well. The two latter ones, the image post and video post, are going to get you more engagement than just a normal text-based post. By a lot, by quite a lot. Not when you're first starting, because nobody's really going to see you, but just keep on going with Twitter as well. Don't expect a lot of followers. Don't expect a lot of kind of engagement at the beginning. Just do your thing and don't look for all the followers and the engagement. Just keep on doing it, keep on doing it, and don't look at the numbers. Just don't look at them at all for the first month or so. Do your thing, promote your projects, and just become involved with the community. But pretty soon, you'll start to get a following because you're sharing useful information as well. For Twitter strategy, follow what other people are doing um, and just follow kind of what they're doing. And you'll learn a lot just by being involved in Twitter and getting to know the things. So what I would do, first of all, is kind of go to all these tabs on the left-hand side, see what it does. You click on Home twice, you're going to get to post something. Explore. It's going to tell you all the different trains, what's trending just now in the hashtags, COVID, news, sports, entertainment, all that. Messages, that's where you're going to see all your messages. Bookmarks, that's where you bookmarked. So I bookmark a lot of kind of th um, stuff that I find really interesting. Lists, you can create lists as well. I've got, so I've got a list of, in the past, it was Beautiful Souls. People were doing a lot in personal development because that was my main thing. But I've also got Crypto Gem Hunters. Um, and other things I've done in the past as well. Because I wasn't really big on Twitter before. Your profile, obviously you know about that. That's where you can edit your profile. More, you can change this for professionals, topics, moments, newsletters. You can do a newsletter on Twitter now as well where you can write longer uh, articles. But that's for further on down the line. And this is your display and um, how you want it to display on your computer as well. So loads of different things you can do. Don't be afraid to check out all the tabs as well. And just post as much as you can. Five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the afternoon, five minutes at night, 15 minutes per day. And other things you can do. So we'll go to Dragon Evolution. Now I'm just off a call with Dragon Evolution as well. They're building up their following just now. So they're doing a giveaway at the moment. You could comment on that as well. So you've got this. So if you click on it, that gets it to the top and then you can comment on this. Just say, so looking forward to this. So looking forward to this launch. Good luck to all the entering the giveaway. So you get involved by commenting as well. And so what happens there, more people are going to get to see your tweets. It's going to go to the top straight away. 
Uh, more people are going to get to see you. They might follow you as well, so you'll build up a following that way. So the more you get involved with you, the community and the kind of uh, companies that you're invested in or the projects you're invested in, the better it's going to be for you. So I like to click on notifications. You can see just now John has liked that reply already that I've just done. So looking forward to this launch. Good luck to all the people entering the giveaway. He's liked that already. So had he not seen me, he might have followed me from that. So Twitter is about a network effect. So you could post something out yourself and nobody really sees it because you're just starting. But if you get involved in other projects, if you get involved in their tweets, um, more people are going to see you that way and more inclined to follow you. You build up your following. That means you become an influencer. Um, so build up your following with the mindset of becoming an influencer, but not um, to actually become an influencer as such, but just with that mindset, with the same tenacity as building up a following. But really what you're doing is kind of promoting your projects. So um, I'm going to see in my notifications, you can see here there's lots of um, new tweets from people that I follow. So Whale Shark, bypass that just now. Top 7 ICO, I love these. Um, Meta Wars, so there's posting about Meta Wars. This would be a brilliant one because we're involved in Meta Wars. Has introduced a Planet Fusion feature. Quote tweet. So cash tag. So cash tag, and you want to um, tweet them as well. So you want to include them, that's the at symbol. Uh, and that will um, give a notification to Meta Wars that I posted something about them. So cash tag, people will be able to follow the cash tags, and I'll show you that in a second. That's a brilliant idea from Meta Wars. So post that, and you can see, when I go to mine, you can see I've just posted that there. Like your own, don't be afraid to like your own um, tweets as well. So at least it's got some love to it at the very start, and then other people will come in and join that as well. So now to show you kind of notifications in the brand new one that I've just done. So just to follow that, um, CYT, Crypto to get some great information. And it's just I'm just going to do a text one. So tweet that. I just want to show you. So now if we jump over to the other account, we should have some notifications up. So notification. So we'll go to the real notifications. So we can see follow CYT Crypto to get some great information like that. And um, we'll retweet that. Okay, so that's just to show you that how the notifications work as well. Tag people into the post that you do as well by using the at symbol. So you've got tagging, hashtagging, cash tagging. So remember that tagging is the at symbol, hashtag is the number symbol, and cash tag is the dollar symbol. And that's really the basics of what you have to do. If you spend 10, 15 minutes per day doing this, you'll quickly find that you'll start to build a Twitter following and it'll grow exponentially as well. Just be like a wee snowball, roll down a hill, it'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger the more you get involved and the more useful you become to the crypto community or whatever community you want to be part of. But for this sake, you want to set up a, a crypto profile. So if you've got your own profile just now, set up a separate account so you can set up your own profile just for crypto and start building that up. As well unless you want to use your own account I've used my own account I've had it for years I've used it for doing all my kind of promotional stuff in the past for personal development I didn't use Twitter much I didn't think much of it I was on Facebook mostly but now for Twitter crypto Twitter is huge so that's it for now that's the basics if you've got any questions at all let me know in the comments down below or in the group at CYT blockchain ventures but until next time namaste take care bye now